What up in this Josh your boy IBS Kelso coming back with another MX Bikes banger in today's video We were racing ranked supercross as Hayden Deegan He was happy enough to give us his practice bike And I felt like this content goes hand in hand with us enjoying and loving the 2024 YZ250 F With that being said, they did not have a red plate number one in MXB mod So I have to use the red plate 38 and I got to give a huge shout out to RC designs for creating this amazing Thor gear with it Deegan's number one on there so do not flame me in the comment section for having two different numbers on okay it's not my fault hit that like button subscribe button's getting right into the race baby on the freaking gate who do you hate man what can danger boy Deegan do in some ranked go 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 I don't want to be looking back oh my god we're pulling go a little wide nice good jump over I think Let's go double I get the triple out it's gonna be a bad bounce Let's go wide, that way we don't get hit. I'm gonna go double here just to be safe. Take it nice and easy inside. And let's just stay up, dude, that's it. That's all we wanna do. Show the starting lap, that we wanna be him. Show the starting lap, we gotta be him. We gotta be danger boy. Shoot, we're gonna, we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it, we're in the quad in. Oh, we hit a little bit. <laughs> we didn't get fully in, but we're there. Hopefully next time around. Let's lock her in though. Man, this bike looks so good and huge shout out to the gear man this gear is absolutely insane just been enjoying the yamaha 250f it's been putting me like on a pedestal lately and i also did some changes some minor adjustments to my setup that i released uh i did a 1350 instead of a 1249 now i feel like i have more rpm more drivetrain a little, little bit more gear to pull out and also i changed to a 110 in the back reason being said is there is a lot oh my god you, you're like there's a lot of power in this bike so like putting on that 100 is good but there's a lot of wheel spin to where i felt like i was losing a little bit of time or i feel like i was like basically missing out on a certain amount of like tenths of a second um so i decided to go to that 1350 and a 110 on the back and honestly so far it kind of just cancels out some of that power like still like you get all the a limited amount of power but like you're you're getting that power quicker to the ground if that makes any sense so that's what I changed. Um, I didn't really change anything suspension-wise, so this bike literally still rips in every situation. But I did change drive chain and the tire, um, and I found a huge difference in just keeping more power to the ground with the or RPMs and torque. So, as we go to lap two, kind of putting on a 10 second gap or so, I believe, for the next person. So Deegan really is him in ranked. And um, yeah, this is MX2 as well, exclamation mark, MXB races. I've been having really a lot of fun in my streams and, and racing people here. A lot of people has come out and just try to battle, so it's been a fun time. And uh, yeah, can't get enough of these ranked servers, especially coming up on the new season of uh, Supercross. Some tracks, dude, some tracks, man, they're just not it in this rotation. I'll be 100% honest, the round 10 Indianapolis, just gotta get that freaking track out of here. I mean, just ridiculous. Uh, that's just my you know constructive criticism feedback. I think everybody in the community hates racing that track. I don't see anybody ever put any good lap times down. And it's almost like a 40-something second gap to everybody that's, like, trying to race it. So it just sucks that it's still back in rotation. I'd be happy if you could put it to, like, round 11 <laughs> or something like that. Salt Lake City would be even great. One of the higher tracks. Just got to get that thing out of here, bro. It's nowhere near, like, competing. And it's just, it's just such a bad track. But that's my two cents. Hopefully it gets changed out. If not, no biggie. Still gonna have to race it, so I have to persevere. But I see a lot of people not wanting to race <laughs> as soon as that track comes up. Shoot, I think this track was, I think it was on round Indianapolis for like two hours a day. I was looking for some races and like no one would have wanted to join. So like somebody's gotta sacrifice and sit there seven minutes of practice and then wait for a whole race to be completed just for us to get to Anaheim before people wanna join. So, but enough rambling on. Deegan tw putting that 20 second gap on everybody. I think right now this shows how good this bike is, dude, and man, <laughs> holy smokes, scrub. I know for sure if we were to go in the 450s, I'd definitely get gapped, but you know, that that's like a whole different story, right? 450 against a 250, especially when you got some people going consistently, you're not going to be able to get anywhere near to where you want to be, but yeah, boom. I actually want to see how far we can gap this, holy smokes, only lap three. Only lap three, we're going crazy right now. I, dude, tell me if I'm wrong, bro, but Yamaha has got to be it for freaking Supercross. I think the, I think the KTM's definitely up there. The Honda's up there. Kawasaki's definitely up there as well. Husky. But, dude, something about this bike, and I feel like I've unlocked a new mode of putting it to the 1350. 
in the 1350 on the backside, dude, it is absolutely insane. For a good scrub here. And I've not been able to hit this, like, line completely clean. Like, I feel like I've been trying to hit the nastiest scrubs ever when I just need to, like, do my repetitions. <laughs> but we got 30 seconds on the guy behind us, dude. Putting on a clinic. Good. Nice and easy. Chicken noodle. Yeah, man, dude. RC hit me up about this gear, bro. And I was like, yeah, bro. Please make it my number and also for some Deegan content. Which we don't have a number one red plate. Um, I know I'm wearing red on uh, number one on this on his jersey, but no one's made a red plate for the Yamaha, and I couldn't find one on MXB Mods, so we have to stick with the 38, which I hope that that isn't politically un incorrect, or you guys are going to flame me for that, but that's literally all we could do. So don't be hitting me in the comments like, yo, you got a 38 Deegan bike and a number one on the back. <laughs> make it make sense, you know what I mean? Here we go, easy peasy. Making it happen, last lap cheese, what can we do? Oh, we're not going to be able to get the freaking triple in here. Messed up off that. Let's go double double over the table, and then we should be able to go over this table and double out. Biggest thing is when you mess up. I think the biggest thing about Supercross is everybody knows what the fast line is, right? It's about hitting the fast line that's hard, right? But everybody doesn't know when you start to mess up what's the alternate line. And that right there is probably what makes you a little bit better at Supercross is when you're like, okay, Ben, I just screwed up, screwed the pooch. I don't know what I'm gonna do next, right? Like, okay, what's my alternate line here if I can't hit the triple in or do this, right? You gotta think about your alternate lines and be like, okay, Ben, I know exactly what I'm gonna do. And that right there is kind of what puts you above a certain amount of people. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. I don't know who that was, but appreciate you. I don't know who that was, but he definitely went for the takeout. <laughs> that guy definitely tried it, but yeah. With that being said, it almost put me off my train of thought. Um, just being able to hit your alternate lines is always the best thing, so. Just kind of keep that always in your minds where it's like, if I mess up, what what can I do for immediate, yeah, you know, the immediate actions. But 30 second gap, dude, holy smokes. Deegan's taking control of range. <laughs> Let's go to the next track. All right, ladies and gentlemen, race number two here at the San Fran. Man, let's get another hole shot, dude. This freaking bike is insane. Deeks with the hole. Go, 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 go. Just look at this pull off the start, dude. Like, look at that pull off the start. Insane. Just absolutely gnarly, bro. I get this quad. Oh, I'll stretch it, though. Good stretch. I'll take the stretch. Let's go double. Let's get a good little over the table. Hey. Moving. With these pre-made ruts, it's all about good. It's all going to be about consistency on this track right now. So, hitting, hitting hitting big lines in that section will be what I need to do probably later. But right now, it's about hitting the correct lines, especially on the lap number one. You know what I mean? We just got to be able to get out front and be gone. We just got to be able to get out front and be gone and not mess up. Sand's probably going to be our biggest problem, just because like the way we enter kind of gets us thrown sideways. But do we hit the double in or do we go for the big boy triple? I think we just take the double-double. Um, maybe later I'll probably do it, but it's starting to get beat up a little bit. So trying to hit that, in, that triple in might be a little messed up. But kind of already out. Deegan's taking control. Screaming the freaking YZ250. Nice. Good scrub. Perfect. Let's go triple. I just don't think... I think the YZ has the umpted the quad, but... I don't know, man. I think we have it, but I don't know. I don't think I want to go for the triple anymore, just because it's a full stretch. Like you gotta get the best, you gotta get the best scrub ever. It's a lot of freaking power to get that quad. 450s, I know for sure can do it. Maybe even a KTM can do it with all that power. But we're here for the consistency and the explosiveness of the bike. Look at this run through the whoops. It's not the fastest, but it's consistent. A lot of people have str literally struggled trying to get into that whoop section all the time. Already a six second gap, dude. Deegan, who are you, bro? Who are you? You come to MX Bikes, bro, and you get a little active, bro. <laughs> yeah, this is sick. Something about this bike, man. Something about the YZ, bro. We're gonna get it all fixed up. Oh my goodness. Also, I don't know if you guys hear, man. My voice, I feel like at times, is just going, dude. I feel like my voice is going a little bit. I'd be streaming every day, man. A lot of talking. What game is this MX bike? So. I think it only happens during the day, because as soon as like streaming starts, I actually like have like a really good time, like my voice isn't that bad. I think it's just like waking up 
We're starting during the middle of the day. That's when it really kind of eats me alive. I think I'm going to go double, double, doubles all the way through and then triple out. I think that's just the appropriate line for me. Instead of trying to go doubles and then do that weird uh, triple over the table. I think it might just be a better line for me. Just good, doing a lot of scrubs. Another good run to the whoops. Yeah, that 1350 is actually kicking now, dude. Because I feel like I have way more higher RP or speed. Have, have good, better RPMs and better speed. Uh, my biggest thing is why I go to the 1249. Just because I like switching gears a lot. And staying in the high RPMs and getting the most of my power. The only thing is that I just... I tried the 110 with it and it just still didn't feel good. That changed the 1350 and I feel like I just have absolute power in third gear everywhere. So, I mean, obviously I drop down to second and move up to fourth. Like, that's... That's the move, you know? Also, my biggest tip right now, I probably have to do a, another video on this, like tips and tricks. Maybe even just a short for it, but loosen your suspension. And what I mean by that is just go in a higher gear. When you go into a higher gear, your suspension feels a little bit more comfortable. Um, you're able to, like, be able to do some really good stuff with it. So always think about going in a higher gear. Your, your bike will love it. It'll love you for being in a higher, but being second gear everywhere, you're probably just, like, keeping your suspension in a weird, rocky road place. You go in that higher gear, especially through the whoops, instead of trying to stay third, you'll see like a big difference of your bike just actually helping you out instead of hurting you. But I don't know, that's my that's my personal opinion. That's what I found. Just getting the bike loose, loosening it, loosening up the suspension is the biggest thing. And I think the OEMs kind of harped on that to where it's like ride in a higher gear to help you out. And I think I, I just hope you guys like kind of get that. But lap three going on to lap four right now. Good scrub. We got another 20 second gap, dude. Deegan is destroying ranked right now. Deegan is destroying ranked right now. Holy smokes. Super excited to see what uh, Dan I don't know if Danger Boy Deegan's gonna go to the West Coast or East Coast. If, you if they've already decided that and I'm just a pleb, let me know down in the comment section. You guys probably have more information than me. But let me know if he's going back to East Coast or he's going to West Coast for... That would be cool to see him do opening Anaheim. It would be super cool to see him do that. Um, because I think he's done East Coast twice now, right? So, it's only right for him to try to go over to West Coast, unless he's going for the chip, right? Unless he's going for the baby daddy chip, which I think, yeah, Tom Vial wanted. So, you gotta think about that real quick. Like, does he still stay over there to try to go for the chip, or does he move over to the West and be like, you know, I'm not really, I've already won enough accomplishments. I can, like, be okay with not having the chip over in East Coast and go. But, I mean, that's always a real big question. I had this triple in. Oh, I can't. That's, oh, I lost all that time. I was actually about to hit a 102. I was actually about to hit a 102, and I lost all that time at the end. That's okay. We're still freaking going crazy. We almost got another 20, 30-second gap, dude. I mean, just the consistency of this bike, and I think Deegan's just coming out with it, man. Holy smokes. Another lap traffic. I have to go wide here. See if I can get a triple in. I most definitely can a double it might be a good line go triple in double double and then triple out I actually like that line oh what just happened oh my bike slid out bro I got and when I got out of the rut I get jumped on my bad that was probably more, that was literally on me I messed up Good, nothing that you could do nobody do the freaking guy jump into the freaking whoops though <laughs> yeah nice man let me know if you guys enjoyed this video bro Deegan if you guys want to see more digging content, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe button, let me know. And thank you guys for clicking on this video, bro. It's been absolutely a dub. So, yeah. Meet you guys in the next one. It's your boy, IBS Kelso. Huge shout out to Danger Boy. Digging.